installing Git on your Windows machine. Um, before you actually install Git, check it out to see if you are you may already have it. So um, click on Start, and then cm type cmd. That the command prompt is going to come up. Go to command prompt and type git and hit enter. If you don't get anything, it means you don't have git installed. Open up the browser and type over there git download. The first thing that's going to appear is downloads for git. And it's going to give you the one appropriate for your operating system. We are dealing with Windows because this course is based on Windows and on visuals and working with Visual Studio. So, uh, that's what it is so we're gonna download it for Windows and find out what is the operating system that you have I am almost sure that it's gonna be a 64-bit operating system to know what it is click on uh, Windows Explorer right click on my PC click on properties and then you will see over here what is the type of operating system that you have which is 64-bit in this case then select the proper one, 64-bit Git for Windows, and download it. After the download is complete, execute the program. Click on Yes for the installation. And you don't need to change any options over here. Just to click Yes to er next to everything and keep going until you get to uh, adjusting your path environment. If you are using your oper operating system to do advanced shell scripts, select number two. If you are not doing that and you're, you're not using, like I myself, I use Git as uh, uh, Git uh, an optional Unix tool from command prompt. This uh, makes my Windows command prompt accepting uh, Linux commands, which is pretty cool for me. So. Uh, you can either have uh, Git over here uh, or use Git optional Unix tools. If you use this one, it's going to overwrite the commands that comes with uh, uh, shell of Windows, which I do not use. Therefore, I'm going to use this uh, the third one. You can choose the second one if you want to. Click on Next, and the rest just keep go by standard. Everything let it be as it is by default. and next and then install so everything is like that other than uh, the st setting up the path for command prompt everything's by default when it's compute uh, completed you can just uh, uh, click on finish and you're done now uh, then open your command prompt and then type git and hit enter oh so i have to close it and open it so that so it takes effect so i'm going to do cmd again and this time if I say git, it's, I'm going to get a response. Therefore, now git is installed on my machine.